Good morning, folks. You're going to see a hitch in today's sun images. It is a normal SDO glitch that happens whenever they flip the spacecraft to cool the sunlit side. Even with a few missing frames, you can tell it was a calm day on the sun. Not quite all calm here at Earth, but we'll come back to that. Solar flaring remains pitifully low. The sunspots are about the only thing more pitiful, actually nearly an all-quiet event. Solar wind shows a broken up shockwave signature, but with enough juice this morning to finally set off magnetic reactions in Earth systems, and this morning we have entered a level 1 geomagnetic storm. Spaceweathernews.com for updates today. Coronal holes here. You know that the quake watch is rising due to these, the space weather, and the planetary geometry. And yesterday we saw unusual location rumbles in San Francisco take the top spot. I love it when the unusual locations rock instead of large magnitude. Today, let's focus in on the bigger East Coast tsunami threat than the Canary Islands. 274 earthquakes in the landslide zone over the last month but well over half of them concentrated in just the last few days. Very lopsided there. Top link today is outstanding. Citizen scientists and especially electric enthusiasts take note. We're being asked to look for high zoom candidates where we find things like Swiss cheese surface features or spider geological forms which actually look like nerve cells definitely electrical about a hundred on that gray image actually. It's linked for you below. Featured stuff at the Observer's House today, number one, the conference, Observing the Frontier. It is coming up this October. Tickets are on sale and it's going to be one incredible weekend. The featured members only content is again that Sun Series supplement. I would love to get us all on the same page after the Sun Series videos and that supplemental doc. Typhoon, now looking to slide right up past Japan and hopefully miss direct landfall. When you look to the southwest of it, you see another system forming near the Philippines. The eastern Pacific storm is just sort of hanging out, not much progress there. In the United States, the main alerts will follow that heat and moisture flow up the center. Check your local forecasts. Precipitable water shows the lows and convergence lines for Europe and Australia, but they do not merit any worry today. Folks, tomorrow begins the last week of July, and it will be the last time to get a discounted membership and lock in the lower price for life of $20 per year. The deal runs the 24th through the 31st, so don't miss the chance to knock off more than 33% every year as we celebrate the website's birthday. Got current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.